Hello everyone! Welcome back to WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 for the Sony PlayStation 2. Brought to you by GamingNoir.com and number one source for video game walkthroughs. Hello everyone! Rob Talk, yo! And we are about to start the Royal Rumble, if I remember right. It's been a day since my last video. I was supposed to do more yesterday, however, things happened. Anyhow, let's see what Mr. McMahon has to say. Let's see John Cena coming out. No, RVD, sorry. RVD, really? Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, earlier tonight we witnessed a classic bout for the WWE title. So before we begin the Royal Rumble match, allow me to formally introduce you to your new WWE champion. <laughs> And I have even better news for SmackDown. Your fine general manager, Theodore Long, is nearly fully recuperated from his heinous assault earlier this year. And being the consummate professional that he is, he insists on resuming his duties on SmackDown as soon as this week. Did you hear that, Taz? Theodore Long is back. It's about time, Cole. SmackDown's been without a general manager for way too long. Now remember the man who wins tonight's Royal Rumble will earn a title opportunity at the greatest sports entertainment spectacle of all time, WrestleMania 22. Yes, the road to WrestleMania begins right here, right but now, in it this is very ring. weak. So yeah, Royal Rumble, however, I'm not going to be in it until the very end. That's right, I'm number 30 again. <laughs> well, let's start this. It's going to take a while. Don't know how long this could take forever. This could go very, very quickly. Started. Let's get it started and ha! Let's get it started in here. Okay, Rob, what are you doing? I am quite hyper today. I am. Just got home from work. A little bit more than six hours of work today. I thought I had Not this too bad. Figured out. But now I got no idea how this is going to end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. Kane is already in. Taz get a huge advantage over their opponents <laughs> and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. And that's why you can't take your eyes off the action for one second. You never know when something huge is going to go down. Edge. Whoop. My mouse. So sorry. Edge is such a jerk. I'm amazed that he still has a job on Raw after some of the stuff he's pulled. Hey, Cole, lighten up a little bit. Maybe he's not got the best attitude in the world, but you gotta admit, he's a heck of a competitor. That may be true, but I'm not a fan of the way he's been winning his matches lately. And I don't think these fans are. You know, instead of showing uh, up uh, uh, fans, Jericho, okay. maybe you should really keep your head to this match. Come on, Taz. You're looking at a superstar who can feed off the crowd and use that energy to win the match. And Kane has been eliminated. Not hard He's nice people. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man. This 
ones just turn into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kind of took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you, Cole, like they say, anything can happen here in the WWE. Oh, you saw that one coming. So yeah, mainly this week I'll be concentrating on this game. I don't game. think anything Edge wouldn't do to get what he wants. I think that's yes, it's an elimination. Not eliminations already. It's going quite fast. This is one hell of a performance by some amazing superstars, Cole. What did you expect, Taz? This is SmackDown, after all, the number one brand in sports entertainment. This crowd is hoping to see a little bit of the air against Tony Haas. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. Are on He's a still in. in yeah, and not a health clinic. So is Edge. Really the same after this one. Uh, He's out of the match and on his way to the locker room. The Bobby. You know these are uh, the first people. They got a record. You don't look too thrilled about it, but out is out. See ya. This ain't about win the loser anymore, Cole. This has become real personal. Well, with the way they've been beating the hell out of the each other, brothers. I'm not surprised. You know, we've seen some pretty good back and forth action here, but you Ooh, don't see that? two matches end that way. No, you don't. Know. And I think we'll see one superstar dominate the match before it's over. Still in. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. Both passing brothers are in though. Danny and Doug. You're not gonna see action like this. Will they anywhere team up? Except SmackDown, Cole. We'll get no argument for me, Taz. SmackDown is the dominant brand in all of sports entertainment. Here he goes, tossed out of the ring and out of this match. Folks will be staying with this match to the end with no commercial interruptions. Good thing too, Cole, because I don't think we'd ever hear the end of it if we cut away here. He just eliminated him with authority. And he's out. Anything left of these superstars by the end of this match. You're probably right, Taz. They're so focused on a victory that they don't care what they have to put themselves through to get it. And there's an elimination. Wow, he didn't last long at all. Let me tell you, Cole, I spoke to these superstars before the match, and I ain't never seen competitors more fired up and ready to get it on. Judging from how this match has gone so far, Taz, I have no trouble believing that whatsoever. Scott it to Hattie. Night after night, the WWE superstar, Sayonara, Scout. See you next time. Of a match so far. It has indeed, but I think this.
this crowd would like to see these superstars pick up the pace a little bit. What are you talking about? This is some clap. It's a showers. You're out of the match. It's obvious these superstars have studied each other real carefully, Cole. No question about that, Dad. You won't last long against an opponent you uh, haven't done your homework on. Tazui, okay. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, then and this match is over for that superstar. Yep. Can you dig it, sucker? This one's gonna go home. Actually, Taz, from my perspective, I think it could go either way. Over the ropes and down to the floor to Grandma's house we go. Who's next to come in? Eugene. I guess you gotta give it up to Scotty. I never seen a superstar come back from so many beatings. You'd think that he'd just pack it in and call it a day. That's not Scotty's style, Taz. He might not have the most impressive one loss record, but he tough luck. Guess he'll look to fight another day. Then hide and hike. Then hide and hike. You can see him. He slipped out of that one. Just going to pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Oh, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. you got to stay on them and wear them down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that could have a disastrous result. No. I'll tell you what, Cole. Let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this, and you can cover what it's like to whiten your teeth. Deal? Feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. On the show, okay. there can be as many people in the ring as possible. However, in the game, they can only handle up to. Only six people in the ring at a time. Yeah. That's one less superstar to deal with. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. I'm sure they have, bro. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. As soon as you let the slightest doubt into your mind, you can forget about it. And that's something I don't think people realize. Ben Here we Wong. go. Out of the ring and out of the match. I love Rick Flag Ball, I'm telling you. I'm not ashamed to admit that I picked up that two moves from the dirtiest player in the game. Now there's a like. He likes fighting dirty. And it's easy to see why. He's pretty good at it. He certainly is. And I hope he's proud of himself. Personally, I find it disgusting. JBL. Ugh. I don't like JBL. Great for I never have. I don't think the fans like that one too much. I'm sure this breaks this guy's heart. It should. These fans are the lifeblood of WWE. And he doesn't give a damn what they think. Jeez, what a match. I got no idea. Oh, what next one or the one afterwards? Uh, I think I'm partner. this next one here. I think that's one of the things that makes it so exciting. No, I'm not. Okay, then I'm the next one. So.
I can't say there's a dude with guts. These top rope moves are risky. And I miss. The stars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're going to win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost now simply I have to because one play. superstar was able to outlast their opponent. Ah. Nice reversal. I gotta tell you, I don't think. Whoa! He just got eliminated. Can you believe that? I don't think this is just down to me anymore. and JBL. This is getting personal. Well, what do you expect? They've been beating the hell out of each other all match. Yeah, but it's more than that, Paul. I don't think they look at each other the same way after this one. Have a little match here before, before I throw him out. He'll do whatever it takes to win and take every advantage he can. Hey, no, that's not going to make you popular, but you got to do whatever it takes to win. Nice quick counter. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line, Cole. If you're not doing everything you can to win, then you're in the wrong game. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? I've been looking forward to this match all night long, Cole. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups ah. in recent weeks. And usually when you have that kind of hype, it's really tough to live up to the expectations. But these superstars ain't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. Come on, get up. I've seen matches won and lost with uh. moves like this. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit, Cole. This is a great match, and the fans are way into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. Boom. These superstars are beating the living hell out of each other. And these fans are eating it up. It's what they came to see, Taz. And these superstars are making sure they don't go home disappointed. This could be a finishing move right here. Oh, no. I don't like where this is going. Uh oh He just got all of that modified swing neck breaker. Look at these fans. They didn't like that one bit. Yeah, well, you know what? I got some bad news for these fans. He don't give a damn what you think. What's he doing now? Oh, man, check it out. A modified swing neck breaker. Very, very cool. Oh, yeah. And I like did it. Not, there's the match right there. your winner of the 2006 Royal Rumble. He outlasted 29 other superstars, and by doing so, he's going to get a title shot at WrestleMania 22. What a night for him. What a night for SmackDown. We got a new WWE Champion and a new number one contender. I'll tell you, Cole, I love the Royal Rumble. Turn that up a little bit. Let's pin the face of people who don't want to be cool. Okay, that seems to be it for the storyline, so let's continue with this.
<laughs> Sando. I think we're going to be getting a Sando storm this afternoon. For the sound of things. Okay, um, let's continue. I still have time. Why not? Welcome back, Theodore Long. It's been a long time since we've seen him, but our popular general manager has finally returned to SmackDown. I'll tell you, it's good to have Teddy Long back, but we still don't have any idea who was driving that car that ran him down in the first place. Let me holler at you, players. Being in this ring in front of all of you SmackDown fans is doing more good than all the doctors in the world. This is new. Theater alone is back in the house. And this time I'm here to stay. And now that I'm back, the first order of business is to find out who ran me down in that parking garage. Whoever it is ain't gonna get away with it. Believe that. But I don't want to dwell on the negative. There's plenty to celebrate here on SmackDown. And speaking of that, it's time to call the winner of this year's Royal Rumble down to the ring and congratulate him on a job well done. Of people who don't want to be cool. Here comes the winner of the Royal Rumble. Word has it, Taz, that he's already decided to go after SmackDown's own WWE title at WrestleMania. Champion Rob Van Dam. Oh my god, the WWE Champion has just taken out the number one contender. That's not like RBD at all. And what's that written on the WWE title? Teddy, dude, welcome back, man. Too bad it took you so long, though. Yeah, there's been a few changes around here. It's time to let you and all these fans know that as of now, ECW is back. And we're taking over SmackDown. ECW? The ECW organization went under years ago after so many of its top superstars left for WCW and the WWE. And now you're saying ECW is back? You're pulling my leg, player. Come on, Teddy. Look at me. Take a look at this title. Does it look like I'm pulling your leg? With you gone, I was finally able to get the kinds of opportunities that you always kept for me. Like a WWE title match at the Royal Rumble, which I won, of course. So now that I've gotten what's been coming to me, I have some old friends around who want to join the party. Old ECW friends. Ooh, ooh, like the Sandman? Now listen like, here, uh... Rob. I've never had anything but respect for you. You feel me? I was glad to hear you were the new WWE Champion, but I'm sorry you felt that you had to go that far to do it. Huh, I guess you're gonna tell me that you were the one who ran me down all those months ago. Me? No way, dude. Mr. Thursday Night doesn't like to get his hands dirty. Know what I mean? But I know who did. Well, lay it on me, dog. Yeah? I don't think so. RVD, if you don't give me a name, you're going to defend that WWE title tonight instead of at WrestleMania. You dig? Dig this, Teddy. I'll defend this ECW title anytime, anywhere, but only against a truly extreme opponent. And since my so-called Number one contender is knocked out on the entrance ramp right now. He's not it. If he wants this title, he's going to have to go to the extreme first and prove that he deserves a shot at me. R.B.D. I 
I can't believe what I'm hearing. RVD says that ECW is back, and they're taking over SmackDown. Well, if that's true, things are going to change around here, Cole. ECW is a force to be reckoned with, no doubt about that. Wow. I have never seen this... I have never seen this storyline. Never. Never, never, never. It's a single no man to versus... With manager. Okay. As I'm facing RVD and uh, the other person is his manager, I'm facing that person and RVD is his manager. But I've never seen this happen. Never. No, don't tell me that Rey Mysterio has joined up with ECW. Rey's a fan favorite here on SmackDown. How could he turn against us like this? Hey, you gotta remember, Mysterio was an ECW guy long before he ever came to this company, WWE. I guess in his mind, he still is. Yeah, he was. I remember that. That's been in the face. He came here tonight expecting to challenge Rob Van Dam for the WWE title at WrestleMania. Instead, it looks as if he's going to have to take on members of a resurrected ECW. I think you mean ECW title, Cole. You might not like what RVD's done with it, but that's the way it's going to be until somebody takes it from him. Now I plan on taking it from him. I think this is different because I did it different at the beginning of the game. I chose, in the beginning of the game, I chose to go after RVD instead of, instead of Cena or something like that. Yeah. Anyhow. Whoa. Whoa. You know, Cole, the Did more you guys I see that? Match, the more I'm thinking that there's some legitimate personal issues here between these two. That was too stars. fast for me to uh, right, Taz. After all, they spent the best time beating the hell out of each other. It's hard not to take something like that personally. He was one step ahead on that one. God. I don't think there's going to be anything left of these superstars by the end of this match. You're probably right, Taz. They're so focused on a victory that they don't care what they have to put themselves through to get it. Look at these fans. They didn't like that one bit. Yeah, well, you know what? I got some bad news for these fans. He don't give a damn what you think. You feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. I don't know where Carlito gets off telling people how cool he is. I certainly don't see anything cool about him. Well, of course you don't, girl pants. You gotta be cool to see cool. You hear that? And that's not you. I just made it up right here. That's pretty cool, right? I think that's cool. Don't break your arm patting yourself on the back, partner. Who died to make Carlito the judge of what was cool? Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. He can get the pin right here. One, two. Probably not, but. Wow, they don't get much closer than that. Victory means absolutely everything to these competitors tonight. Why? Thank you, Captain Obvious. You got any others like, uh, I don't know, Why? nobody He's... wants to lose. Or so I ask... the superstar who beats their opponent will be That's the That's what winner. I meant to do. Hmm. How about Taz should spend more time calling the match and less time cutting down his broadcast partner? Man, 
Cole. I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner. But it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever... What's he doing now? Oh, man, check it out. Not a five-swing neckbreaker. Very, very cool. He's going for the cover, Cole. Right. Two, three. This is... Yeah. What an incredible match. How do I get the feeling they're gonna stop beating on me in a sec? What the? It's Chris Benoit and Tajiri. As if we didn't already have enough trouble around here, now we've got raw superstars invading SmackDown. Both Chris Benoit and Tajiri were huge JCW superstars back in the day. And when it looks at things, they ain't raw superstars tonight, Cole. They're here on ECW Business. Yeah, and they're about to put me through a table. No, no! Crap. My God, they've broken the number one contender in half. Not for nothing, RPG says that ECW's took over SmackDown, and I gotta wonder if he's right. They've drawn first blood tonight, no doubt about it. Interesting. I've never seen this storyline ever. I'm glad I uncovered something else. I haven't uncovered. I, I know practically everything else about this game, but I've never seen this. Never. And that being said, I'm actually gonna save it and call it a wrap. What's gonna happen? Do you guys know? Because I so don't. Stay tuned. Oh.